Hi everyone, it's Glenn from Expulsion Science. And today I'm gonna teach you how to balance a fork and a spoon on a toothpick. Let's get started. First, let's grab our materials. We need a spoon, a fork, a toothpick, some matches, and a cup. Pretty simple, right? Now I'm gonna hand it off to my assistant, Brooks. Thanks, Glenn. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all today how we're gonna balance this fork and this spoon on a toothpick on a jar. Let's get started. So first, we're gonna take our fork and our spoon and we're gonna merge them together like so. That's the quickest I have ever done that. One last material we're gonna need are some matches. So we're going to take our match, we're gonna light both ends of the toothpick. Five minutes later. Okay, what we're looking for, see how despite the toothpick getting burned right to its very, very edges, the fork and the spoon are still balanced. Now we're gonna have Glenn explain why that is, but this is what I want you to be looking at. See how there's no space, there's no room on the toothpick for it to be balancing, yet it's still standing strong. How is that possible? What we did there was find the center of gravity between the toothpick and the silverware. The center of gravity in the balancing fork and spoon is directly below the spot where the toothpick rests on the rim of the glass you'll notice that the handles are curved directly below the toothpick. This actually moves the center of gravity directly below where the toothpick rests on the rim. Now, when Brooks burned the toothpick, why didn't the flame keep burning and knock over the utensils? Fire requires three things. It requires heat, fuel, and oxygen. You take away one of these, and the fire goes out. The fuel and oxygen were there, but you took away the heat. The glass and the metal took away the heat and the flame went out. But as you saw, the fork and the spoon remained balanced because the center of gravity didn't change. Catch us next time for another episode of Expulsion Science.